Howdy folks, in today's review, uh, well this guy just showed up, UPS was nice enough to uh, at least get it off the truck for me, <laughs> they didn't bring it in, this thing is big and it's heavy, it's a uh, Colzer brand name, uh, rather large industrial type uh, dehumidifier, at least that's what it says on the tin, I don't know, we'll uh, I'll set you on a tripod. I'm not going to bore you with uh, the whole taking the box apart thing. Uh, set you down on a tripod here, and we'll get back to it once I get the box taken off. Well, it uh, kind of looks a little something like that. I think they did a pretty good job packaging the thing. It's uh, well, it's big, it's heavy, and uh, yeah. Well. Once you go through the unboxing process, um, yeah, kind of looks like that. It's uh, it's big. <laughs> it is uh, quite quite large. Uh, I, I I knew the dimensions. I mean, I read the product description and all that. But uh, yeah, I mean, these are standard height um, kitchen countertops, and yeah, it's uh, with the handle. I mean, it's a little taller than that. Uh, I, I did assemble the handle. You know, off camera, I didn't want to bore you to death with that minute detail. But uh, these thumb thumb screws, whatever, they're gonna they're gonna put a hurting on you. You might want to get yourself a small pair of channel locks. Makes uh, putting them on you know a whole lot easier. You just gotta cinch them up, snug them up. But uh, the the bar is kind of it's kind of spread apart a little, so it's it's under a little tension. Uh, you're gonna have a hard time, probably ha have a hard time doing that by hand. But uh, little channel locks goes a long way. Anywho, that's what it looks like on the outside now that there is no longer a box. Um, yeah, it's big. <laughs> I hope it does what its size implies. It's supposed to be, you know, industrial. And I got this for a very, uh, well, very specific reason. I went with the biggest thing that I could find because none of these things do what they say they're going to do. I mean, yeah, they're all going to pull moisture out of the air, but an air conditioner does that. Uh, this is a specialized air conditioner. And, well, <laughs> they all lie to you. This is supposed to do 232 pints. And in reality, it has been independently tested and verified to do half of that. Just like all of them. I don't care, you know, who makes what. They all claim big numbers, and none of them, none of them hit it. None of them. So I, I just went after the biggest thing that I could get my hands on. There is one that I found that's slightly larger, and I mean slightly. It does like 30 more pints per day, but it was twice the price, and I just, there, there's no way I could justify it. This is supposed to do 8,000 square feet. I have a thousand, 1,000 square foot home. So yeah, it better handle this. And then some. <laughs> but uh, I live in a very wet environment, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm way overdue for one of these. So, all right, enough talking here. Let me plug it in, and we'll power it up for the first time and see what it does, see what it sounds like. All right, I had to get a small little adapter there. The cord wasn't long enough to reach my receptacle. Shoo. And we got glare. Always, always white in the glare. Yeah. On. Oh. Hey, there it goes. Huh. I'm sure you can hear that. That makes a racket. No idea how to use this. I haven't looked at the manual. I should probably look into that, huh? I'm, I'm thinking it's telling me that it's 57% humid right now. Um, huh. I don't know. Let me spend a minute and look at the manual so I know what I'm doing here. And then 
we'll get back to it. Alrighty, I think I got it pretty much uh, figured out. I uh, took a quick glance at the instructions, and uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty much self self explanatory. Uh, temperature, or I should say, humidity level up or down, power on or off, press and hold the timer button to enter the uh, well, the timer mode, and uh, yeah, the readouts are self explanatory. That big number was the uh, relative humidity in this room, according to the inbuilt sensor. Uh, I was reading 45, I think it said uh, at one point. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it back on and we'll go through it, but I can show you what that thing's reading. Uh, my indoor is currently 71.2 with 45% uh, humidity. So, you know, it's, it's, it's right there. The numbers were we're well in agreement and of course you know kids kids are gonna love this thing <laughs> I've had two of them on top of it in the last five minutes now a um, couple of things I want to point out before I want to do uh, also I'm gonna hook a kilowatt meter into it a couple of things I want to point out before I get to that though I did upon closer inspection yeah there's a little something something going on there there's a dent yeah it's kind of creased in there a little bit and uh, a little bit here it's it doesn't stand out much but it's it's there I, I, oh man I don't know I don't think it happened during shipping I really don't I kind of think that was a factory thing I know this was a factory thing <laughs> where is it right there uh, somebody yeah somebody put a little touch-up paint on her that didn't happen, you know, anywhere else but factory. So, uh, that, this, uh, this whole front grill here is kind of neat. Uh, it took me a minute to figure it out, but it's, it's magnetic. It's magnets up in uh, the corner area, and then it just lifts right off. And there's the, uh, the core. And it was running. I had it running for a while. Uh, I guess I'll just point out real quick. Somebody done screwed up. That ain't where that screw goes. They put the screw in first and then put the side panels on. And I know this because that's what it's supposed to look like. And that's what it's supposed to look like. And that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Somebody put that screw in a little too soon. Um... Yeah, pet peeve, I guess. I'm dinging at points. I'm, I'm going to definitely, you know, take this into account when I give it my final rating. But, uh, you know, these are these are kind of minor issues, really. Uh, does it do its job? How well does it do its job? Well, I only had it running a couple of minutes, and I've already got some water on my floor. So, yeah, that's the uh, discharge right there. And it's puking some water. So, so far, I think it's working. Uh... The back side of this thing, I'm a doohickey, whatchamacallit here, is all filter. I do plan on putting a proper uh, home heating style filter in. I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'll do that on my other channel where I make modifications and, and that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, once I figure that out, once I figure out how I'm gonna do it, I'll, I'll put a link in the product description, or yeah. The uh, video description and you guys can check that out if you like but uh, yeah it's a little bit noisy it's supposed to move 350 CFM I didn't know what that was gonna sound like until well, until I turned it on but uh, all right uh, I'm gonna put the uh, kilowatt meter on it and see how much power it draws all right I got the uh, kilowatt meter plugged in here We'll uh, power it up and take a look at what it draws with uh, fan running and then also what it draws with the compressor running. But since it already tried to puke a little water on the floor, um, this is what I'm using, what I'm going to be using anyway. I, this is my backup for my heating system. You know, I, I, just in case one fails, it's, it's good to have one on hand. I love these things. I'll put a link to it in the uh, description or the, yeah, the video description down there. Uh, it's a little giant. 
not very expensive, you know, right, right in that $50 range, but man, it moves some water. And the first one that I have is going on, oh, it's got to be four years old now, and I haven't had a single problem with it. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's my backup. So that's how I'm going to be dealing with the water. Um, yeah, let's uh, power it up. It says 70% humid in here right now. That's going to change real quick. I had it running uh, earlier, and then the, the uh, condenser is going to get really cold. And so there's that's why you had so much uh, humidity right just right right in that area, and it's just dropping fast. I don't know if it's going to remember my previous setting. I had it turned all the way down. Yes, it did. It remembered that. That's as low as it goes, I think. Yeah, it only goes down to 10%. And uh, so I don't think the compressor's running yet. Let's see what it's drawing. If we can beat the glare. Our current, 7.8 amps. Now the compressor must be running. It wouldn't be that high otherwise. And watts, 850. Well, that's not too bad. I, honestly, I expected a little more. Yeah, that's, that ain't so bad. I mean, that's half of what, eh, a little more than half, but around about half of what I'm used to seeing from my uh, regular air conditioners window units that is 8 amps I mean mine draw t between 12 and 13 amps anyway I'm, I'm doing uh, doing some renovations here the, all that stuff's gonna change uh, new air conditioners coming but I'm starting here because I got a problem with humidity more than I have with temperature so one thing at a time but it's all happening pretty soon within the next month or so and uh, takes a minute to shut down well it takes seconds but you know it takes a little bit of time and then Zen it shuts down all right um, I don't think there's much more I can show and tell I just got to put some well weeks months worth of time you know I got to use the thing for a while see what it really does in this real world uh, super wet damp environment I live in a flood zone so it's always wet here and uh, I'm sure this summer is going to be a bad one <laughs> in the meantime kids love it <laughs> uh, yeah anywho um, I'm gonna spend some time with it um, I'll update throughout the course of well throughout the course of the summer and probably wrap up this review at towards the end of summer alrighty well uh, yeah We'll just do it like that. It's uh, it's about like that. Uh, end of July, and I just thought I'd do a short and sweet little update here. Um, we got some rain here. <laughs> We've had some rain for the past couple of days. Nasty, hot, humid. Um, indoor is 69 degrees. Nice in here. 46 percent humidita, and uh, yeah, we just had inch and a half of rain. Outside is 79, 88%. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Um, this is one extreme wall. I'm going to take you to the other extreme where I actually have the dehumidifier. But I got a couple of these meters, so uh, I thought we'd take a look at uh, this one. And then I'm going to show you the next one. Here is my other one. Showing 71 degrees in here. 37% humidita. And uh, let's take a, take a quick look out in the uh, junk room, storage room slash workshop area, the mess that it is. That's where I have the dehumidifier. Here we go. It is currently running because nasty weather. Out here, showing 68 and 41%. Now, <laughs> It's a mess out here. 
Here, let me shut this off so you can hear me. And there we go. That's a little better, huh? Um, yeah, I mean, it makes a little bit of a uh, racket, that, which is why I have it out here, my workshop area. And I can move, I can move air through the entire house, uh, cycling it through this room. So it works great for taking care of my entire house which is only a thousand square foot. I mean, I, this is overkill, I know, I know, but it's, it works, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> it does exactly what I need it to do. And I have it uh, draining into a pump, which I just pump into a bucket because I'm too lazy to uh, hook it up to uh, the drain line on the washing machine, which would be certainly, you know, no muss, no fuss, I just haven't done it. I can't monitor how much water I'm pulling out of the air if I do that, right? So every day, it's, uh, well, these are tidy cat buckets. I think they're six gallon buckets. Anyway, yeah, when it's raining in like this and it's just nasty humid out there, that's, uh, you can see what I'm seeing. In 24 hours, that's half a bucket full. So whatever, somewhere three, three gallons worth, I would say. Anyway, you can see my little makeshift air filter there. But uh, I'm gonna, let this roll for the rest of the summer and I'll, I'll do my uh, final thoughts and opinions on it then uh, yeah towards the end of summer wrap it up I thought uh, you know while while I'm here I might as well just take a temperature reading I have a FLIR uh, as the name would apply in the upper left hand corner there I have one of those thermal imaging cameras and I, I was just curious to see what this thing's putting out for heat um, yeah, it's about, you know, 78 degrees, pretty much. Uh, that's, you know, that's what they do. So, I was wondering, and now I know, and now you know. Alrighty. Hey, you know what time it is? Eh, it's about that time. Time to finish this review. It has been some time. Uh, many months I've spent uh, using the thing, getting to know it inside now well not so much inside but definitely outside inside my house let's put it that way uh yeah i think i know what i need to know at least enough to tell you what i think about it and one more test i'm going to run one more test i i think would be uh you know valid here i have a sound analysis microphone an actual you know that's specifically what it's designed and meant for built for measuring sound i'm gonna plug that well it's already plugged in i've just got to open the program that uses this thing and uh, we're going to take a sound measurement. I want to know how loud this thing truly is in decibels and uh, yeah everything else is uh, pretty much already tested and data logged and all I got to do is throw it into my editor and put it together. Okay I've got this pretty well set up. I think you can see what you need to see. I've got this microphone calibrated or I should say the program is calibrated for this microphone. I'm going to measure on three different levels here on A weighting, C weighting, and Z weighting. That way, you know, you get to see, well, that's literally physically every which way I can possibly measure this thing. If you have a particular weighting that you prefer to hear or see the number four, well, I'm gonna show it to you, at least as best as I can. So without further ado, let's, uh, yeah, fire it up, I guess, and make some noise. We're currently on the A scale, A weighting. And if I shut up here, That is the current ambient conditions, about 38 decibels. Now I'm going to switch over to the C scale.
And next we're gonna go to the Z scale. Z is in zebra. Okay, so um, yeah, that's about how much noise it makes. <laughs> now you don't have to hear me talking about it. You don't have to hear it through whichever microphone, which gets compressed via the uh, YouTube algorithm. You can physically see the numbers with your own two eyeballs, or one eye if that's all you got that works, like me. <laughs> I got a bad one for sure. Anyway, um, that's all I wanted to show in this part. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up with some final thoughts and opinions here, huh? All right, hopefully I can get this done before the next damn appliance kicks in. Start making racket in here. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, um, as you can see, I put uh, like a pre-filter. It's just, you know, I don't remember exactly where I got that stuff. If I can find it anywhere, uh, you know, like on Amazon or whatever, I'll put a link to it. But as best I can recall, it's just some very thin, um, like furniture, cushioning kind of stuff. I I think I took apart a bed, some kind of a bed, not a mattress, but it, I don't know, some kind of a bed. That's what is like popping in my head here. Some sort of a bed apparatus. And this was a top cover for the thing that it was. I, I don't even remember what it was. I just remember it being some kind of a bed. Anyway, um, I got like a king size sheet of the stuff and I just rolled it up and I've been using it for air filtration and things like that ever since. What also works and what I also use is some fake silk, silk bed sheets. Qu uh, get them for, you know, twin, queen, king, you know, get as much as you need there, but just the cheap crap, the fake stuff, um, it creates a, as air moves across it, it, get, it's, it gets charged statically and then dust and dirt sticks to it like glue. Well, it sticks to it magnetically, you know, electrically, I should say. And, uh, you know, it's real easy to, you know, just wash it, vacuum it, whatever you want to do in that regard. But uh, it's it's really good at trapping, you know, dust, dirt, and debris as a pre-filter. Same as a sponge material. Anyway, so that's what I did there. And it's kind of white, actually. <laughs> it, it does look white to me, anyway, on my camera screen. That's because uh, I did a bunch of drywall work, uh, sanding and things of that nature this past summer. And I did make a mess of this place. So this thing has done its job. Now, I, I thought real quick, we'll just take a look together because I have not checked it since. Um, I just use magnets, which I'll put a link to these things. These are uh, N52 neodymium magnets. I'll put a link to them down in the description or whatnot. Let's see if it did a good job. I think it did. I mean, it looks dirty, but also looks like it did its job. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and that looks good. Well, is that coming out? Yeah, it looks like it's pretty well uh, in focus there. Here's the, uh, yeah, it's got a little white to it. So some of it did get through. Hopefully that's coming out on camera there. But uh, yeah, the pre-filter did its job. I'm happy enough with that. All right, uh, put this back on here real quick. Like show. Let's uh, let's talk about some things I like and things I don't. I'll clean all that crap up later. Because I knew I would forget. Otherwise, I wrote myself some cheat sheets here. Uh, let's start with things I like, huh? The performance of this thing. Yes, it's got it. Go big or go home. I mean, literally, just don't buy anything unless it's huge. Honestly, from my experience, and that's why I went with this particular model. Get the biggest damn thing that you can afford because if you get anything lesser, you're probably going to be disappointed. That's just been my experience with these things. They, they claim, they all claim big numbers, but none of them, ain't none of them out there that do what they say they're going to do. I mean, it's got to be just that perfect, 
uh, ambient condition for them to even come close to their rated capacity. And ain't nothing going to work that way in, in reality. It just doesn't. You know, your, your basement's always going to be colder or it's not going to be warm enough. You know, you know, what, too wet, too cold. It's always going to be something. There's always going to be some reason that the thing can't do its job at maximum capacity. So the best way to uh, counteract, you know, life, if you will, just get the biggest damn thing that you can find or that you can afford. Uh, there is one bigger than this that I did. I, oh, I found it, but it was very, <laughs> very less bang for the buck. Uh, it was twice the price and it only did like, I don't know, 30 more pints. I think it, this was rated for 230, 230 some odd pounds per day. And the, the other one was rated for, I don't know, like 260 something. It, it was like, you know, it, it wasn't worth double the money. So very much less bang for the buck. Anyway, this is what I bought because, well, those reasons. It, it was the biggest thing I could find for a reasonable price. And uh, yeah, I was just hoping it was gonna do its job. And yes, this thing performs exactly as I was hoping it was going to. Now, it won't bring my place down to zero, <laughs> okay? It just won't. 8,000 square feet is what this thing is rated to handle. Well, I mean, it might handle it, but it's never gonna bring that room or that, uh, that much square footage down to zero. It's just never, ever gonna happen. You gotta understand this going in before you buy any dehumidifier. Ain't none of them gonna do magic. They, 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 can't, they can't do it. They, they, just, they just cannot do it. <laughs> it would take multiple units to, well, deal with 8,000 square feet. If you wanna hit, you know, low double digits, it's gonna take multiple units and that's just what it is. That's just the way it works. I have a thousand square foot home, just 1K, 1,000 square foot. This will maintain for me in my environment, which is a very wet environment. I do live in a flood zone, so keep that in mind. I do not have a basement. I have a house on uh, pylons, but uh, I do live in a flood zone, so you know, there's that. A 1,000 square foot home. I bought this in April, it is now December, so I can tell you what this thing is capable of doing in my environment. I can hold high 30s to low 40% humidity range. That's where, that's where this thing will, will keep me. And that's with running window air conditioners. I got two uh, rather large window AC units, which that is all this thing is. Literally, it is a glorified air conditioner. It's just uh, the coils are a little closer to, well, they're a lot closer together. And it's basically just a glorified air conditioner, okay? That's, that's what it is. That's how these things work. Uh, I like it. I, I mean, hell, I, I was suffering I, every year prior to owning this thing. I was, I was, I was just a, a, a very miserable camper. Now I'm a happy camper. I'm paying for it in electric. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it definitely shows up on your electric bill, but I can breathe now. I, I don't, you know, I don't sit, I don't lay in bed, I should say, and, you know, sweat profusely because I, it's just so humid I can't get comfortable. This thing allows me to reach a reasonable humidity level and maintain it. It doesn't matter how hard it rains outside. It doesn't matter how much, how much the floodwaters rise around here. I can always maintain, you know, that, that high 30s to low 40 percentile humidity range. And for me, that's a godsend. I am not a fish. I cannot breathe underwater. So yeah, for me, very needed thing. All right, so there's that. Um, the wheels. Yeah, let me spin you around this way. That larger wheel, that makes a huge difference right there. And it works with this handle in conjunction with this handle, I should say. I have it unscrewed because of where I keep it. I needed the, I needed to lower the height a little bit to fit it under that shelf that I, I think I showed it to you earlier in the summer. Anyway, these bigger wheels are much better than casters. At least it's got two large ones on the rear. I like that very, very much. It makes it so much easier to just you know, take the thing backwards over uh, transitional points in my house. For example, like when I go from uh, this, this hard flooring into a carpet area, you know, the little, the little baby caster wheels, which it does have on the front, but it's got big ones on the rear. If you were trying to push this over that, you know, that, you know what happens there. They just get stuck, right? With the larger wheels like that, you could just maneuvriate it any which way you want, you know, pull it backwards over the, the, the bumps, <laughs> if you will. 
and there you go. You know, life moves on pretty easy that way. Um, the control panel, super simple. I mean, literally don't need any instructions to, you know, understand how to operate the thing. Yeah, it's, it's simple. It just makes sense. Turn it on and yeah, I mean, it just makes sense. Uh, a couple of the flashing indicators you might want to look up in the manual, but you know, once you get it, you got it, right? Nothing to it. Uh, when you lose power, which we have on occasion, uh, it, it remembers your last setting. You don't have to go back and turn it back on. You don't have to go back and readjust your humidity level. It'll just pick right back up as soon as power is restored. I like that. I like that very much. I very much like this magnetic um, filter guard on the front. That thing's cool. No tools are required. No thumb screws. No. No, it's just simple. Magnets. <laughs> Magnets. Awesome. That was a that was a great idea. I think. And um, that's about all I can think of to praise it for. Uh, let's talk about things that I can't praise it for so much. Let's talk about things that I dislike. The, uh, yeah, well, you saw the battle, the battle scars right, right out of the box. Over here, I think. Yep. Uh, spin it around. And, well, I, I, I pointed it out in the beginning. You know, it's all dented up in here. And that, you know, right out of the box, brand spanking new. Um, I'm more than sure that happened before this thing went into its box. So that was just crap quality control right there. Somebody wasn't looking or did look and ignored it. I don't know. It doesn't matter how it happened. The point is it did happen and it was shipped to me that way and I'm not happy about it. Very much a dislike for me. Also, I, I did show you in the beginning when I took the front air filter cover off. Yeah, one screw did not match the other, right? Like somebody didn't quite know how to put the thing together. So again, quality control, just ain't none. <laughs> not from my experience, not with this unit. Noisy. Yeah, it makes a little bit of noise. Uh, as you saw with my uh, test results there. Uh, it's a whole lot louder than the whisper, ain't it? Now, if you're gonna put this in your basement, you're probably gonna be fine. If you're gonna put it in your garage, you're probably going to be fine. If you're gonna put this in your living room while you wanna watch a movie, yeah, that's when you're gonna have a problem with it. Um, this is in my house. It is very close to where I literally do watch movies, but it is in a separate room and I can kind of shut it up there. It makes noise. But it's an industrial type machine, and I knew that going in, so I'm not mad at it. I, I don't have any problems with it, but I'll tell you, I would not want to have this in the room that I'm trying to watch a movie in. Let's put it that way. It is, uh, yeah, it's too loud for that. But, you know, it's an industrial machine, and if you want to, if you want to condition air, then you have to move some air. And this thing will move it, for sure. And it's going to make a little bit of noise doing that, so as long as you... Uh, as long as you're fully well aware of that going in, then you'll be all right. And I am contemplating, still contemplating. Uh, I've been watching a price on another one that I can keep a little closer to me. Not that I need it, but I might. You know what I mean? I... Uh, I might buy it. I, I probably will. If, if it ever hits the number that I'm hoping it comes down to, <laughs> I'm going to grab it. Honestly, it's rated to do the same uh, square footage as this one. I don't know, but it's Energy Star rated, which I can almost justify it because of that. And it does have a quiet mode of operation where it's supposed to, I don't know if it will, that's, I'd have to get it to test it and find out, but it's supposed to have a quiet mode of under 50 decibels. And if it can be at or below that, I mean, that's, that's, well, hell, that's library, you know, kind of uh, environment, right? <laughs> that's, that's damn quiet. If it hits my numbers and, or if I can get it at a price I'm willing to pay, let's just put it that way. I'll probably grab it and then, uh, you know, have that to compare to this, but I'm, I'm, I'm not getting rid of this. Don't, don't misunderstand me here. I like this. This thing does the job that I got it to, well, got it to do. It does exactly what I was hoping it was going to do, and it does it very, very, very well. Happy with it so far. And um, the only other thing I could talk about, well, I just mentioned in price, 
the other one is a whole lot cheaper than this. Which is why I don't, I'm, I would not hold my breath. Um, you, you, as with most things, you get what you pay for, right? This was 1100 when I got it. And uh, the one I'm looking at is, well, it's on sale right now, but I think I can get it for less if I just wait. <laughs> the one I'm looking at right now is on sale for like 430 Supposed to do the same square footage. Now you tell me, $1,100 machine, can a 400, well, 400, let's round it off. Can a $450 machine do what an $1,100 machine is doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm, 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 I'm still on the fence. You know what I mean? I'm thinking I'm going to give it a try if and when it hits my number, but uh, yeah, not, we're not there yet. All right. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, and that's where I'm at so far. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up here with some scores, my final, uh, final thoughts and opinions here. I got some other thoughts I don't want to rattle off here real quick for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is, right? It, it, it's, it's big, it moves some air, it makes some noise while it's doing that. But like I was saying, it, if, you want to, uh, if you want to condition your air, then you got to move that air. And if you want to condition air quickly, then you got to move air quickly, right? I mean, it's just physically physics. <laughs> That's how it breaks down. <laughs> and this thing moves quite a bit of air, 350 some odd CFM, if, if I remember correctly. It's moving some air and it's making some noise while it does that. So you just got to keep these things in mind, right? Know what you're getting before you get. That way you're not surprised or disappointed when it shows up. It's heavy and uh, there's, there's that. You're not going to be picking this thing up and carrying it around. Thank God it does have wheels. And thank God it does have those large wheels. That makes, you know, life a whole lot easier. Um, yeah, my other thoughts. I mean, this will not bring my house down to zero. I, I know I've said it, but I want to re-say it. I want to reiterate. Just know this. None of them will. They just won't do it. Okay? It's going to take multiple units. And even then, you're still never going to hit zero. 8,000 square foot this thing's rated for. I put it in a 1,000 square foot home and it keeps me in the high 30s, low 40s, all right? So, I mean, th this is just, you know, cold hard facts of the matter. This is just what the units are, what all of them are. I don't care what numbers they claim, ain't none of them gonna do it. So just do keep that in mind. And uh, one other thing I'm gonna mention now, when should you spend this kind of money on this kind of a machine? Uh, right now we're looking at Christmas, right? I showed you the date on my uh, weather station there. So like now, now is an excellent time to buy this because I paid uh, $1,059 for this thing back on April 1st. That's when I bought this. Today, as of, well, as of the date of this recording, this thing is uh, a whole bunch cheaper. <laughs> it is a whole bunch cheaper. It's $8.99 with a $100 coupon now. So, hell yeah, now is the time to buy. If you want this machine or one like it, you know, Christmas time. That's what I, that's what I would say or suggest. You know, save a buck if you can. If you wait until, you know, the, the, the middle of summer when, you know, everybody's in the thick of it, well, you're going to pay for that. Yeah, you know what it is. Just like buying an air conditioner when everybody else needs one, prices go up. Supply and demand and all that crap. So, yeah, if you want one now, I mean... Or if you want one for summer, I would say get it now. That's, you know, that's, that's what I can suggest anyway. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's wrap it up here with my score. You know me, uh, stars are for restaurants. We don't do stars around here. On a 0 to 10 scale, a proper numerical scale, where would I put this? Um, taking literally everything into account here, all of it. Uh, with the shipping damage and all that, I, I think, honestly, I would give it a better score if it, if when I took the front cover off, if I saw the screws were all in the proper location, assembled properly. <laughs> if when I pulled this thing out of the box, it wasn't all dinged and dented with a little touch of paint on this side over here, which I, I showed you earlier, I think that was. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if that hadn't been, you know, so painfully obvious, I would, I would give it a higher score, but uh, I got to rate the thing as it is, as I got it, and all that and all that. So uh, where am I going to put it? On a 0 to 10, 
I'm going to give it a seven and a half because I got, I got to take it up. I got to take all these things into account. I would rate it higher, honestly, for if it had two, two different, uh, <laughs> for two different areas here. I would rate it higher if it was Energy Star certified and I would rate it higher for sure if it just wasn't all dinged and dented. Uh, I love the performance. It's doing everything that I bought it to do and it's working fine. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I got really nothing to complain about aside from the obvious. And um, yeah, seven and a half, that's where I'm gonna put it. Um, now I do highly recommend that, that you get yourself one of those auxiliary pumps, which I'll put a, a link to it. I'll put a picture of it in here, in fact, and then I'll put a link to it down there. I use the little giant brand because I've been using them for years. The one that I had hooked up to this is actually my, my spare for my main heating system. But the one that's currently in use for my main heating system, that's been running five years solid and ain't nothing. It, it just works. It, it's, uh, I don't know, like 40, 40 some odd dollar pump. And I mean, it's been rocking and rolling for, you know, a good five years for me. Hasn't shown any hints or signs of giving up. But like I said, I do have a spare just in case in the middle of the night it goes out. I use the spare on this one all year. And yeah, I've been, I've been thrilled with it. Thrilled. <laughs> I like it. So I think that's, uh, I think that's everything I really wanted to say about it. I, I do like it. If you're in the market for one, I can recommend it. I do recommend it, but you know, to, to use your magnifying glass when you take it out of the box. And if that, this kind of stuff, you know, if you can't live with it, well, box it right back up and ship it back. Um, otherwise, if you need a serious dehumidifier, well, here you go. This, this thing, it's got the balls. You know what I mean? It will do the job. It'll make, it'll make life comfortable. Let's put it that way. It won't bring you to zero, but it will make your room or, or environment quite comfortable. All right. Yeah. I'm going to wrap her up right here on, uh, Hey, uh, give me one of these or one of these, wherever you, wherever you feel the video is worth and do the ding-a-ling with the subscribes, the bells, the whistles, and all that jazz. You know that whole song and dance. And, uh, hey, we're going to see you in the next one then. Aight. Cheers.